you guys how's it going it's still here back with another operation palace video um i get this quite late at night and i know probably not a lot of you will watch it but what a great performance that was against norwich um i am absolutely delighted with that result especially in the first half i'm delighted for john philippe matessa gets his first goal in fuck knows how long um i'm absolutely delighted with the result um if i'm honest with you i am um, didn't expect it. I, you know, guys know I think these are the sort of games that we do tend to bottle. But Norwich have just completely shown that they're not a Premier League side. You know, they are Championship at best, um, and we clearly proved that to them to, um, on on Tuesday, which is lovely to see. And um, yeah, it makes the West Ham game at the weekend very very hard for us. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted for John Philippe Mateta and um, absolutely delighted for Odson Edward to get on the score sheet as well. And, you know, Jordan Ayew had a really good performance as well. So many positives in that performance. I'm going to get into my player ratings for the match and my player ratings start with this. Um, I'm going to start off with um, Vincente Guaita in goal. Um, he made a very crucial save in the second half um, from Placetta. Um, the Norwich um, winger um, and one of many good saves he made I feel very confident with him in the sticks and he definitely proved he was a, that was a really good performance from yesterday and I'm going to give way to a 7 out of 10 um, going into the left back position now um, Tyreek Mitchell very good performance from him as well caused a, what a, what a ball for the second goal in particular to find um, Jeffrey Schlupp I mean, wow. I mean, what an assist, you know. An assist to Schlupp, onto Mateta. Mateta finds the net, which is lovely to see. Because um, he has been out of form for fuck knows how long. But that pass from Mitchell, just to find him. What a classic counter-attack that is from Crystal Palace. We are really starting to find our feet now. And I think Mitchell's got the left-back spot nailed down for me. And for his performance, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I thought he was really, really good. He didn't put a foot wrong for me. Um, next, we're going to get into the two centre-backs. I'm going to start with um, Joachim Anderson. I thought he was really good. He defended really well. Um, again, in the second half, both the two centre-halves slacked off a little bit. But being 3-0 up, you know, and against Norwich, I just don't think they had any sort of attacking threat in the game. Um... And I think, you know, they both had a really good game. I think Anderson was probably the better of the two. Um, so I'm going to give Joachim Anderson an 8. And I'm going to give Mark Gwaihi a 7. Um, going to go back into the right back position now. Joel Ward, I think he was good in this game. Um, again, he caused a lot of problems down the right hand side for Norwich. Um, they just could not handle him. Um, his, his passing was pretty good. Um, to the midfield who started who created a lot of good attacks so I, I can only praise Joel Ward for his performance the other day and I'm also going to give him a 7 out of 10 um, going into the midfield now I'm going to start off with Will Hughes what this has definitely got to be one of the signings of the season as long, along with Conor Gallagher Will Hughes has got that starting centre midfielder spot nailed down he knows exactly where to be I mean, every single time, he knows where to be to defend and he knows where to be, you know, to start an attack. It's just, his, his knowledge of the game is just absolutely instrumental and it's crucial for a team like us. And I was absolutely thrilled with Will Hughes' performance. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I thought he was brilliant yesterday. Um, not yesterday, I'm... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I thought he was absolutely brilliant on Tuesday and I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Um, next, I'm going to go into Jeffrey Schlupp. Um, scored, the, scored the third goal. Very, very good. Um, absolutely delighted for him. Um, you know, he is he's always got quality about him. You know, if we need a player to come off the bench, Jeffrey Schlupp is always that man. You know, Jeff Schlupp's the dancer. Come on. I... You know, I don't need to say much more than that. I thought Jeffrey Stuck has had a really good performance on, on Tuesday. And I think Jeff Flup gets an 8 out of 10 for me. He, 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 he put no foot wrong for me. 
Um, next, I'm going to get into Checo Chiarto. Again, he didn't put a foot wrong. He, he didn't really have much to defend against. Norwich defending was, well, shambolic. He, he went forward quite a lot with the ball, which is nice to see. And again, I was very, very happy with his performance. And for me, I'm also going to give him an 8 out of 10. I think he was very, very good. Um, I'm going to get into the front three now. Um, the next one I'm going to go for is... Um, I'm going to go for Odson Edward on the left-hand side. Man of the match. Man of the match. He was absolutely brilliant. Um, you know... He, he, he scored the penalty which he needed a goal so bad you can see the relief on his face when he scored um, hopefully this is the start for him now to kick on you know he's got five goals he's got four five I think he's got four or five goals in the league if he can continue that form he will definitely you know he'll definitely be a good player for us in the future for sure and 14 million pounds will definitely look like a good sign a bargain from Celtic for sure um, he's still adjusting to the Premier League, of course, and for me, I think he was man of the match. And I'm going to give Osson Edward a 9 out of 10. I thought he was really, really good. Him and Will Hughes are very close, but I think Osson gets man of the match for me. Um, next, I'm going to go into Jordan Ayew. Um, again, another very strong performance. He holds, he holds the ball up so well. Um, he definitely is working on his crossing, which is nice to see, because a lot of them are starting to become a bit more dangerous, which I can't believe I'm saying. Um, but for me, Jordan Ayew was something else the other day. I think he was pretty good, and I'm going to give Jordan Ayew an 8 out of 10. And finally, um, John Philippe Mateta. That was a, I did not expect to see his name on the starting lineup sheet um, the other day. I was like, what? Why is John Philippe starting? But proved me wrong. He did prove me wrong. He he worked his socks off. I mean, to get the goal that he did, the relief, the look on his face was just telling, absolutely telling. He needed that. Um, he held the ball up really well in the midfield, you know, trying to wait for a runner again, and he probably could have scored more. So. Yeah, John Philippe Mateta, I'm also going to give an 8 out of 10. But that's my match ratings for... If there's anyone I've missed out, then please let me know in the comments and I will give you a match rating in the comments. Um, there's bound to be one that I've missed for sure. And um, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, guys, I do apologise for the lighting in this video. I'm sorry, it is. I've just come off a train. I'm coming off on a, on a train right now. Um, it is quite late at night. I'm filming this at half... 12 in the morning um, yes yeah, so I do apologize that this video is going to be rather late um, the preview to the West Ham game will be out um, Saturday morning but this will be my last video of the year so I just want to say one thing a couple of things um, um, a very very happy new year from the Ed Star channel um, wherever you are in the world um, if you're new to this channel, you've stumbled across across this channel, you're watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button. It would really, really, you know, make me feel a lot more confident right now. Um, hit the like button as well if you've enjoyed the video. Let me know your um, player ratings in the comments. And also, let me know how excited you are for the rest of the season. Um, I, I'm absolutely thrilled with that result. And, you know, I think we can kick on from this. But, the last thing I'm going to say is have a very happy new year. Um, this is going to be my last video of 2021. And yeah, I appreciate you all. And until I see you in 2022, take it easy.